What's up y'all? I, today, I'm gonna show you how to make a sword hanger out of an old belt. So here's what you're gonna need. You need a hammer, an awl for leather working, uh, and you'll figure out what size exactly you're gonna wanna use based on your rivets. There you go. A piece of your belt, and, haha, -ha, the belt buckle, which is about two and a half inches wide. Um, the leather I cut to about nine inches so that I have a little bit of wiggle room to work with. Realistically, probably only need about eight. Here we go. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is figure out where you want your leather to fold, and then we're gonna mark where our rivets are gonna go. So, most belts are about uh, two inches maximum in width, right? So I'm gonna make sure that mine is about two and a half. See that? So that uh, that way, no matter what belt I'm using this on, it will fit. So, that's about where I want my rivets to start. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna mark with a pen or something pokey uh, where I want those rivets to go. So I'm just gonna give myself a little hole right there, give myself a little hole right there. So that's where my first set is gonna go. Now, I'm gonna take our belt buckle, I'm gonna slide it on in there and feel out exactly where that wants to live so that we can now mark where we want our second set of rivets to go. It's gonna be right there and right there. Beautiful. So, get that belt buckle out of the way. Don't need it right now. Okay, so now that we marked where we want our rivets to go, you can kind of see those little holes right there, uh, we're gonna go ahead and get all up on it. Ha 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 ha, puns. Um, set your all at where you want the hole to be. Take your hammer. I should be using a rubber mallet, but you know, use what you got. Um, make sure that it goes all the way through. There we go, so there's our first hole. Uh, we'll go ahead and do that for all four. Here we go, let's just do this real quick. Boop, you can give a little twist to pull it out, it helps out a little bit. Um, but when you do twist, make sure you're twisting in the direction that it's screwed in, otherwise you're gonna wind up uh, unscrewing the head uh, if it is one of these like cheap craft store alls like this one is, that has replaceable heads. Uh, so there we go, we've got all four, that one's a little gross, there you go, all four of our rivet holes. Now, here's the next bit. We're gonna fold this bad boy over and we're gonna mark where we want our second set on the other side of our leather to go, right? So we're gonna take our little pen, we're gonna dig a hole, and we're gonna dig a hole. Um, pretty much, I, I don't. it doesn't matter how you mark this, this is just, you know, However works for you. For me, making little markings works. I can see exactly where I wanna go. So now we're gonna do the same thing again on this side. And everything should, and we're gonna check in between each one that our holes are lining up. Beautiful, yeah? So we're gonna keep on going. Sorry, I'm gonna get back in the frame. Good, that's pretty. Find the next one. Okay. And sometimes this will happen. I can't see where my last hole wants to go, so I'm gonna remark it. I'm just gonna make sure that all my holes are lining up. They are. Now I'm just gonna remark where this one wants to go. There we go. Now I can really see where that last guy wants to go. Place my own. Okay, so we have four holes on that side, four holes on that side, and lo and behold, ta-da, they match up. Uh, sorry, <laughs> if I hold it right. Uh, there, there you go, four fabulous holes. Now it's time to bring in our buckle, which is gonna go slipping right in between it all, yeah. See how that works, right there. Now we're gonna do our rivets. Uh, I do this janky, because I don't care how they look. If you do care how they look, then you're gonna wanna actually get the right uh, anvils for this. So you take the one with the post, yeah? Try to show this a little bit better. Take the one with the post, put it through. Ta-da, ta-da, yeah? Now you're gonna take 
your back, this little guy, yeah. There's our post. I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna find the matching hole, I'm gonna slip it in to the matching hole. Sometimes this is a little bit challenging. Just get it on in there, there we go. So it's in there, right? Yeah. Now I'm gonna take them, I'm gonna match them up. I'm gonna pop them in by hand, boop. So it's holding, but now we gotta hammer them down. So just give a few whacks on one side. Again, because I don't care how this looks, I just need it to hold, bam. So there is our first one, ta-da. Same thing all the way around. So then we take our second, Post, our second back, boop, squeeze them together. Whack, 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 whack. Cool, so that's our first set, bam, bam. Now, once again, belt buckle time. Slide that sucker on in there, mm-hmm. Get them out of the way, so just like this, huh? Yeah, yeah, take a post. Slide it through. Now this is where it's gonna get a little bit more challenging because we're having to work around the belt buckle. So, this is where it gets a little bit harder to get all these pieces to line up. And I'm sorry I'm kind of blocking, I know I'm kind of blocking the view with my own hands, but there we go. So I got them in there. They're holding. Give some whack. <laughs> Give some wax. there we go. Now we are on to our last one. Post goes in, back goes in. Time to whack. Boom. Boom. Tighten everything down, give a few extra bonus whacks. And ta da, we have made a fully functioning sword hanger out of a belt buckle. This can hold pretty much any kind of sword you need it to. Uh, I'm gonna go test it out tonight at rehearsals for Macbeth. Uh, Ta-da.